Hi guys, welcome back to La Densa Crochets. If you're new to the channel, my name is Liz. You're welcome. Kindly subscribe and join the family. In this tutorial, we're going to be making this maxi skirt, which is a chain skirt. It can double up as a bit cover up, or you can wear something on the inside and wear it as a regular skirt. These are the materials that we're going to need for this project. You'll need a four millimeter crochet hook. You can use any size of hook that is available to you. It doesn't have to be a four millimeter. Then you're going to need a medium weight yarn. I'll be using this brand, which is Winter King. It's acrylic, 100% acrylic. You can substitute this with um, cotton yarn or whatever yarn is available to you. Then you're going to need a yarn needle for sewing in the ends. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a measuring tape, and stitch markers. So now this is a sketch of how your skirt should look like and the measurements that you're going to need. So you're going to need the waist measurements, the hips measurements, the full length that is from the waist to the to what, wherever you want your skirt to reach, whether it's a maxi skirt or a mid skirt, whatever you want it to get. Then you're going to need the length from your waist to where the slit is going to begin. I've already taken my measurements and these are what I'm going to work with. And I've measured in inches, so the waist is going to be 28, the hips 42, the length from the waist to where the slit begins is 12 and the full length is 38. So get those measurements and let's get into the tutorial. Grab your yarn and the hook and begin with a slip knot. Once we get the slip knot, we're going to start chaining and we're first going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then pull out the hook. Put the hook in the first chain put the hook back into the fifth chain and continue chaining until you get your waist length so we, the starting chain is the waist length and it should be a multiple of 10. so this is six seven eight nine ten i'll keep going till i get my waist length I've chained up to 80 chains and I'm going to measure this to see whether I get to my 28. When you're measuring this, do not stretch it out too much because you don't want it to be too tight because if it's too tight on the waist, it won't be able to go over your shoulders. So just give it a very little stretch and ensure it gets you to the waist measurement that you're working. So mine, when it's not so much stretched, it's at 13. So when I give it a bit of a stretch, I'll get to 14. And because my chain is folded into two, it means I'll take 14 multiplied by 2 to get to 28. You can stretch out a little bit, up to 16. And therefore, this means if your waist is between 28 to 32, you can start with a chain of 80, but only if you're working with a 4 millimeter hook. If you're working with a different size of a hook, you might need to chain less or more, depending on the tension of your stitches. So now, once you have enough chains, remember the chains should be divisible by 10. So 80 by 10 is 8. So mine are divisible. So once you get your preferred chain, you're going to pull. You have two loops on the hook. So you're going to pull this loop through the first loop to complete the round. We have our starting chain. And you're going to begin the first row by chaining one. Then you're going to put your hook through the first chain. And I'm going to work over this tail to hide it. Yarn over, grab a loop so that you have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two to complete a single crochet. Into the next chain, yarn over, pull a loop and pull through two do, to complete a single crochet. Do a single crochet into the next chain. A single crochet into the chain that follows. Into the next. And into the next. Then just keep going with one single crochet into every stitch till you go all the way around the chain. So the total number of single crochets that you're going to have is supposed to be the same as the number of chains that you started with. So in my case, I've started with 80 chains. At the end of row one, I should have a total of 80 single crochets. One into every chain.
So this is the last chain and into that I'm going to place a single crochet and that brings me to the end of row one. To complete the row, put your hook through the very first single crochet that we did, yarn over, grab a loop and then pull it through for the completion which is a slip stitch and we're done with row one. To begin row two, we're going to chain one, chain one and turn. Then we're going to begin not in the first stitch but into the next stitch with a single crochet then we're going to work this first stitch as we come to the end the next stitch will get a single crochet and all the stitches all the way around will get just one single crochet Once you come to the end, remember to work in the very first stitch that we did not work right here. A single crochet, then slip stitch onto the first single crochet that we did. Chain one and turn to begin the next row, which is our row three. Begin row three in the second stitch right here. Then we're going to work the very first stitch as we come to the end. Place just one single crochet all the way around. Complete row three the same way we've done row two then go on do row four and row five i'll be back after my first five rows of single crochets At the end of row 5, we're done with the waistband, so we're just going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. And there is the waistband ready. And we're ready to work the main part of the start. To begin row 1 of the main skirt, we're going to chain 1 and turn. Then we begin in the second stitch with a single crochet. In the stitch that follows, a single crochet then chain nine when you're chaining do not make chains that are too tight chain loosely so i did a total of nine chains and i'm going to count a total of nine stitches from the last single crochet that i've done so one two three four five six seven eight and nine into the ninth stitch we're going to place a single crochet then a single crochet into the stitch that follows for a total of two single crochets. Then we're going to chain nine again. Count nine stitches from the last single crochet that you've done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Into the ninth stitch, place a single crochet and a single crochet next. Then repeat that pattern to the end. At the end, you should have eight stitches remaining. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then you're going to chain nine at the end. Then to complete that row, we slip stitch onto the first single crochet that we did. So right here, put your hook through, yarn over, and slip stitch. And that's row one of the first row done, uh, row one of the main part done. So we're going to chain one and turn to begin row two. Row two, we're going to begin it into that, that very first stitch in this gap right here. Put your hook through and do a single crochet. 
then the last single crochet we'll do it as we come to the end then chain nine and skip over to the single crochets and do the two single crochets two single crochets on top of each of the single crochets chain nine single crochets on top of the previous single crochets chain nine again then skip over and do the single crochets chain nine skip over to the single crochets and then repeat to the end At the end we're going to work into the single crochet that remained right here place a single crochet then slip stitch onto the first single crochet that you did that's row two done chain one turn to begin row three for row three we're going to begin in the very first stitch right here do a single crochet a single crochet into the next stitch chain nine Skip over to the single crochets and do single crochets, one into each, chain nine, into the single crochets, do single crochets, chain nine, single crochet into the single crochets, and repeat to the end. I'll meet you at the end of row three so that we can begin row four, and row four is different from row three, so I'll meet you there and show you what to do next. At the end of row three after chaining nine we slip stitch onto the first single crochet then we're going to chain one and turn to begin row four row four is going to be an increase row because we want to increase in order to achieve the hip measurement because right up to this point we're just working with the waist measurements now begin in the first stitch with a single crochet to increase we're going to in to chain one more so we are chaining nine we're going to chain ten And then skip over to the single crochets do the single crochet and at this point i'm going to get my stitch marker and mark that row so that i know which row is my increase row so this is an increase row and we mark it with a slip uh with a stitch marker like that after the two single crochets you're going to chain 10 again then skip over to the single crochets and do one single crochet into each of the single crochets 10 chain 10 Do the single crochets and repeat to the end. At the end of row four i'm going to do a single crochet into that last single crochet then slip stitch onto the first single crochet chain one and turn we are beginning in the next row which is row one two three four row five and row five row five and row six are going to be the same to have the same number of chains as this row so we've been we've done 10 for row four so for row five and row six the chains will just be 10. So begin with a single crochet in the first stitch and the next single crochet then chain 10. so i'll go on work the next two rows then i'll be back to show you how to do the row that follows I'm done with the two rows of no increase after the marked row 
and the next row is going to be an increase row which is row seven so chain one turn to begin row seven begin in the first single crochet with a single crochet a single crochet into the next single crochet then now we're going to chain 11 then we're going to skip over to the single crochets and do a single crochet and a single crochet next then we're going to move the stitch marker into that row that we've just started so that's our next increase row so we know that after this row we're going to work two more rows with no increase so chain 11 then skip over to the single crochets and repeat the pattern so chain 11 all the way through and then the next row and the other row that means you have three rows each of 11 chains in between so this is the first one then we're going to have a second and a third one I'm done with the three rows of 11 chains and I'm in row nine right now. And the reason why we're increasing is so that we can achieve the hip measurement. So as you increase, you need to measure the, the hip measurement and make sure that you're approaching it. Then you're going to stop increasing once you get to your hip measurement. This is how we measure the hip measurement. Just get your measuring tape, place it on one side. Then on the other side, you're going to give this a stretch. Don't stretch it out too much. So when I give this a little bit of a stretch, it goes to 18. Because the skirt is folded into two, it means we take 18 multiplied by 2. And that gives me 36. The hip measurement that I want to work is 42. And that means I should get to 21. When you're stretching, do not stretch out too much. Because if you do, then your skirt will be too tight. So now at the end of row 9, we're going to chain 1 and turn to begin row 10. Row 10 is going to be an increase row. So chain one, turn. Begin with a single crochet in the very first single crochet. Then chain 12. Then we're going to skip over to the single crochets. And a single crochet next. Then we're going to move the stitch marker to that row that we are doing right now. This is a row that has 12 single crochets. So it means that this row, the second and the third one should have 12 single crochets in between, 12 uh, chains in between the single crochets. So we're going to have this row and the next two. I'm at the end of row 12 and I've just done the three rows with the 12 chains and then I'm going to measure this again to see where I've gotten to with my hip measurement. So while stretching a little bit, I'm getting to around 20. So I'll need to increase up to 12, 13 chains and I think after the 13 chains, I love hit my hip measurement so just keep going increasing the chains after every three rows until you get to your hip measurement so for row 13 i'm going to start with a chain one turn begin in the single crochet and into the next single crochet then chain 13. then skip over to the single crochets get the stitch marker and move it into that row that we are doing right now then keep going with the 13 chains and do this for a total of three rows
this is after 15 rows and the chains in between are 13 and i've hit my hip measurement which is 42 if you've not hit your hip measurement you're going to continue increasing so the next row will have 14 chains and keep going till you get to your hip measurement so for this one when we stretch it out it's getting me to 21. It can stretch more and get to around 23 which is 46 and that means this particular skirt can fit someone with a hip measurement of from 34 all the way to 44 as as you can see when you give it a big stretch it goes to 44 if you want your skirt to be loosely fitting then that means you're going to measure without stretching it out too much so now that i've achieved my hip measurement i'll stop increasing then i'll start working rows with just the 13 chains if your last chains are 15 all the other rows will have 15 chains if they are 14 all your other rows will have 14 and so on now you also need to measure the the length from the waist until you get to the point where you want to attach them to the point where you want to leave out the slit part and when you're measuring the length you do not stretch measure at this point where you have the single crochets so at the single crochet part, as you can see, when I measure it out, I'm getting to around 5.5 .5, and you measure without stretching. Remember that I want to go up to 12. So I'll just keep going with rows of chains, 13 chains, until I get to 12 inches on that length of the skirt from the, from the waist to where the slit will begin. And I'll be back once I've achieved that length. So just start with chaining one and turning. To begin row 16 if you're still increasing just increase until you get to the hip measurement then start with a single crochet chain that in This right here is after 33 rows of the chain of the chain rows and uh, I've gotten to my 12 inches length. This stretches a little bit when you wear it and it's getting to the 12 inches right here. So now we are ready to create the slit of the skirt. So at the end, as usual, we're going to chain one and turn. After turning, we're going to start in the first single crochet, this one right here, and into that single crochet, we're going to place two single crochets. Like that, then next, we're going to do the chain. If you've been doing 15, you'll do 15. In my case, I've been doing 13, so I'll do 13 chains. Then skip over to the single crochets and do the two single crochets then repeat to the end only that when you get to the end we're not going to slip stitch i'll meet you at the end of this row so that i can show you what to do next Once you've done the last chain, we have the last single crochet right here and we're going to place two single crochets into it. And for this row, we're not going to complete right here. We're just going to chain one and turn at that point. So turn, begin in the first single crochet, place one single crochet, then another single crochet into the next single crochet. After the two single crochets, chain 13. Skip over to the other single crochets and do one single crochet into each of the single crochets and repeat to the end. I'll meet you towards the end. Now 
after the last 13 chains we have the two single crochets at the end and we're just going to place one single crochet into each of the single crochets so one into this one and one into the last one chain one and turn remember we are not slip stitching anymore at the end so we've started creating this gap which is going to be our slit after chaining one and turning begin in the first single crochet with a single crochet then a single crochet next then chain that in then continue to the end of this row each time you get to the end you're just going to chain one and turn and start working rows these rows are similar until you get to the full length of your skirt After a few rows, the slit part is, start, is starting to take shape, as you can see. And you can decide whether you want a mini skirt, a mid skirt, or a maxi skirt. Whichever way, you just have to work the same row repeatedly till you get to the length that you want. So from here, I'm just going to continue working until I get the full length of my skirt. This right here is after 120 rows of the chain the chain rows and i've achieved my full length my skirt is a maxi maxi skirt like i mentioned i was supposed to do a length of 38 inches however i think i've done a longer skirt and that's quite okay it's better if it's longer than when it's short so this is how you measure from the waist just pull it all the way down and my skirt is at 42 inches at the end i just chained one and cut off the yarn. Now I'm going to weave in these ends that remain. So I'm just going to weave in this end on the on the single crochet stitches. Now once you're satisfied that it's well hidden. You can just cut off the yarn. Next, I'm going to do a chain of 200 and then I'm going to attach it to the waist for drawing the waist together so that the skirt fits perfectly on the waist. To do that, just grab your yarn and the hook. You can double up your strands or you can just work with one strand. Begin with a slip knot and just chain. I have my chain ready and this doesn't necessarily have to be 200 chains it could be more depending on the length of your waist then you're going to get the yarn needle and use this to weave the chain on the waist part so I just, i'm just going to put it through then get the part where we have the slit on this line right here so just on top in the first row i'll start just sewing that the, the strap onto the skirt so you can do this however you feel is okay for you just pull and continue weaving till you get back to the starting point So once you get back to where you started you have your strap in place next we're just going to make the some knot at the end a knot that is very close to the stitches so that we can cut off these ends make the knot on one side and make another knot on the other side then now just cut whatever remains don't cut too close to the knot and cut on the other side and right there we are done with the skirt 
I hope you've enjoyed watching this and recreating it. If you have, kindly leave a like, a comment, share with your friends, and do not forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. See you in the next one.